initial result. Right? And one see here, I draw on the bench. So why is this bench not shouted? Why is this not bad about that uh, lizard? It's a non-living Okay. So this is a non-living thing. So matter is living thing. Right? You can't hear man. You can't hear. Uh, yes. So all living things can move and they can respond. And living things, uh, so non-living things will not move. They will not respond. Right? Very good. And now tell me, how can you identify the things around us as the living or non-living thing? Which three now? Some can grow. Very good. Can grow, it can move. Uh -huh. It can move. So what is grow, move, these all are living features. Features, features right? Features. So these features are also called, called characteristics. characteristics. So today my topic is characteristics of a living thing. <laughs> And the yellow soft is okay. If I choose or identify list, compare and wonder. Movement. So many living things move from one place to another. 
Why do they move from one place to another? So basically they move to find food, water, shelter to avoid extreme hot or cold conditions and also to escape from their enemies. So let us understand this one with an example. Did you come on? Observe the picture carefully and describe what is happening. Escaping. <coughs> Who is escaping? The buffalo is escaping from lioness. Very good. Class to her. So observe the picture. What is happening? Those are flamingos. Uh, they are moving, right? Yes. So here in this picture, the lioness is hunting the buffalo. Why the lioness is hunting? It is moving towards the food. And the buffalo is escaping from the danger. And here, the group of flamingos, they are moving from one place to another to avoid cold weather. And based on where they live, animals can live on land, in air, or in water. For example, dog. Dog walks on land, right? So a fish yes, swim. swim in water and crow fly in sky, right? So very good. So when they move from one place to another, living things use their sense organs to sense their surroundings, right? Mm -hmm. So let us understand another one more characteristic of a living thing that is sensitivity. What is that? Sensitivity. Sensitivity. Okay. So all living things use their sense organs to sense their surroundings. So unlike, I mean like humans, other animals also sense, uh, have sense of sight, touch, smell, taste and hear. Okay, let us see here for example, a dog. A dog catches a ball using its sense of sight, touch and hearing. And a dog you uh, eat food using a sense of taste, touch, smell and sight. And here in this example, a dog can feel love using a sense of sight, touch and smell and hearing. So do you understand how dogs respond and how they use their sense organs to respond? Yes. Oh, you understood, right? So next, and here you know, we, uh, we sh uh, when we feel cold, we, we usually shiver. shiver, right? So here the immediate, the stimulus is cold weather and the response is shivering, right? And in this example, when we hear loud noise, we cover our ears, right? So here the stimulus is loud noise and the immediate response is covering our ears. So here what you understand, so whatever the happening, whatever the actions happening in our surroundings, we respond immediately. So that happenings are known as stimulus, immediate action. The immediate response is sensitivity. So the process by which living things detects or identifies the stimulus and respond to it is known as sensitivity. And do you know? Most animals, food is also stimulus for most, most of the animals. See in this picture. What, what do you observe in this picture, sir? By seeing that the cat is moving towards the lizard. So, the cat is moving towards the lizard. So, when a cat spots a lizard, what it do? It tries to catch it. tries to catch it. It moves towards the food to catch it and eat it, right? So, here food is also stimulus for most of the animals. Now, I will tell you another one more important characteristic of a living thing that is reproduction. So, reproduction means the process by which living things produce their young ones of their own kind is known as reproduction. So, animals usually reproduce by either by laying eggs or by giving birth. For example, hen is there. So what does hen, uh, hen lay eggs? 
So in order to give, I mean in order to produce the egg ones. And the cow gives birth to calf. Right? And in re so in future, in, in a higher grade, you, you will learn more about the reproduction. Okay? So that's all my dears. And let's uh, check. Now I can part. Can uh, you recall the living things and non-living things? Right? And can you able to identify the movement, reproduction and growth? Uh, I mean, we discussed it about sensitivity, right? Yeah. Ten minutes, ten minutes.